Heidi ho neighbors, Rado Goji here, and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy Adventure. You may be thinking to yourself, Rado, we were going to be playing Zelda 2 when you came back, right? Well, that was the plan, but, um... Here's the thing. I went back to Zelda 2, and it made me so mad that I actually... I, I did some recording of it, and, um... I got rid of the, I got rid of the recording because it made me mad, but um, I actually ended up ending it with a long rant about how much the game was pissing me off, and um, I'm just this is going to be basically the way I'm going to do it is I'm saying it right now, Zelda 2 is canceled. I can't stand that game anymore, and uh, I know that but there was my whole quest to. I'm going to LP every Zelda game. Well, that's not going to happen. Um, I'm pretty much going to stick to Zelda games that I really like to do. Um, so I'm not going to do uh, Phantom Hourglass or Spirit Tracks either. Probably not going to do Four Swords, but I still might. I, I, I do like Four Swords. Um, but uh, I'm going to find some ways around doing stuff like that. Anyways, um... So instead, I'm going to be do I'm going to be LPing a game that I really, really do enjoy playing, and that's Final Fantasy Adventure. Um, new game, I guess. And I'm not going to read the text scroll. You can read it. It has some funny English in it. Um, but there you go. Um, it's not absolute English, but there is some English in the game because it's a it's an early '90s uh, Game Boy game, so you'd expect that kind of stuff. Um, this is a game that I have heard got a lot of crap before I played it, or before I even saw it being played. This was actually uh, one of the first Let's Plays I got invested in. Um, I watched Kakoski's Let's Play of it, and I actually got this is the LP that got me subscribed to him. Um, and, um, I, I kind of wanted to play the game afterwards. I actually found a copy of it at Otakon, um, and got it, and I never regretted it. Um, now, boy, that's us, uh, so we're gonna be Rado. Uh, girl's name, I... I'm bad at coming up with girl's names. Uh, do, 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 what's uh, what's something I like to play that has like a girl in it? I don't know. Uh, what's something I like to watch as a girl in it? Oh boy, girls' names are hard. I think it's because I'm not a girl, but. Do, 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 do. Oh dear. Um, okay, how about a girl from Common Rider, I guess? Uh, what's the n newest Common Rider? Is Forze? It's a girl's name from Forze. And it's they're not necessarily having to, it's just train of thought coming, coming trying to come up with a girl's name. It's gonna be a majority of the. Was it Yuki? There we go. The, the main girl in Kamen Rider Forza's name is Yuki, so we'll. Oh, not a V, a U. They look similar with this font, I know. What is the game that's like Zelda? Now fight. It's kind of like a Zelda-esque, well, but you still have the uh, HP, MP, gold points. We have a 50 gold, despite our circumstances. Let me just, uh, kill that. Rado was a fighter of Empire Glaive. Yeah, the text is kind of slow in this, like it was in Mega Man 5. Rado and friends were forced to fight every day just for the entertainment of Dark Lord. Many fighters have fallen from their wounds. You could say died, it's fine. Willy, uh, 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 yeah, Willy's our friend. Rado, mana's in danger now. We must let the Gemma Knights know about it. Gemma? See Bogart at the falls. He is a Gemma Knight. He will know what to do. Or is it Gemma Knight? I think it's Gemma. Gemma, mana, what are they? Willy? Willy? 
Willie passed away. Not Willie! I'll avenge you. Dear God, not Willie! How will we ever go on without knowing that Willie's dead? I'm sorry about Willie. We have to get out of here. I want to go home and see my little brother. The entrance for the monsters leads to outside. Take your chance. Okay. All right, we will take our chance. Now fight. Bring it right on. All right. So yeah, as you can see, uh, this game is less of a Final Fantasy game and more along the lines of Zelda. Um, a lot of people are going to be saying, like, yeah, that's because it's not really a Final Fantasy game. This is the first in the Shaken Densetsu games, which spawned other games like Secret of Mana. Um, okay, you're half right. Um, this actually is a Final Fantasy game, believe it or not. Yes, it is the first Se Seiken Densetsu game. Um, but even in Japan, Seiken Den this game ha was called Seiken Densetsu Final Fantasy Gaiden. Um, so it even had Final Fantasy in the, in the Japanese, um, the, in the Japanese title. Uh, the uh, Final Fantasy Legend games, yeah, those are the Saga games. They are absolutely not Final Fantasy games. Um, and we're just called Final Fantasy for, um... But you can read the text here for for purposes of uh, of selling. But in this particular case, this actually was a Final Fantasy game. It just kind of spun off into its own series, and later got rid of all the Final Fantasy stuff altogether. Um, n regardless, this is still a good game, and I really like it. So Dark Lord and Julius are up to no good. What? Who is it? Exclamation points. I won't let you leave here alive. Weren't you just... I, I guess he found out that we were the ones running from the Jackal. Even though he was, wasn't watching that, I guess. He was scheming with Julius. What the hell? And, um... That should have killed us, but we're fine. <laughs> Not complaining. <laughs> Ouch. Where am I? Where is this? I hope this is not Chris's blood. And we got enemies. And we get to probably one of the best songs in the game. I freaking love this song. This is the main re this is one of the main reasons I like this game, is because of the music. And um I I actually had the remake of this, which was Sword of Mana for the Game Boy Advance. I had that before I got this game. I found candy. I'm actually gonna use this candy. Um The way items and equipment work. Uh, when you, you when you want to use an item, you actually equip it to your B button, and then you use the B button to use the item. Magic works in the exact same way. I don't think we have any spells yet, no. But when we get a, when we get a, um, a spell, uh, we can equip that to the B button instead. So when this comes up, we see where it says broadsword down there. That means broadsword is equipped to the A button because your weapons are all equipped to the A button, and that blank space is what will show what's equipped to the B button. We also have. Um, you know, equip, we can equip our weapons and armor. Uh, attack points, uh, AP is attack points, B DP is defense points. That'll go up as we get better equipment. Ask, uh, we can't use right now because we don't have anyone else following us. We don't get a party per se, it's uh, unlike, uh, you know, like Secret of Mana, we had actually had like a party of three people. And I may LP that one in the future too, uh, because that's a really good game. But like in Secret of Mana, which was the, uh, which was the second game, uh, in the, in the, in the series, um, you had um, three people, and that you that you could swap between, or you could play multiplayer. Uh, but with um, this game, you only ever control the main character, and you get other characters as time goes on. And um, these uh, other characters, you can only have like one character following you at a time. But as uh, when you have that character following you, if you push the ask command, um, uh, they'll they'll do something specific for each character. Like they'll uh, restore your hit points, restore your magic points, or you know, stuff like that. And, um, I'm kind of going under, like, I'm exploring places, because, uh, well, A, I haven't really... Oh, we leveled up. We haven't really 
I haven't really played in a while, but, um... Uh, I mean, it's, it's been less than a year since I played this game, unlike Zelda 2. Okay, level up. Select your growth style. Um... I'm going to do the cheap way that everyone else does. Basically, you alternate between power and will, and it'll basically get you a good all-around um, stat increase. Like, if we increase power, it will in all, it will increase our power by two, our stamina and will by by one each, and our wisdom by uh, nothing. I think the other one was actually wisdom, yeah, because this will increase. We're going power, wisdom, power, wisdom, not power, will, as I originally thought. Um, it will increase our stamina and wis our stamina and will each by one, and basically picking the other one will make up for the fact that that didn't get leveled up last time. So by alternating power and wisdom, it will actually give us a good, um, all a well-rounded um, um, stat set. Also, leveling up will fully re uh, leveling up will fully restore your HP and MP. Um, as I was saying, I haven't. Uh, the main reason I was kind of exploring is because that's the kind of the first thing I do in uh, the Game Boy Zelda games um, to uncover the map. Uh, push and select button will bring up this menu. Um, however, the map is doesn't really have any covered spots. We do have a town nearby though, so I do kind of want to go there. And that's here, but I also kind of want to go on with the story. So before going on to the town, I think we'll have to... I think I'm going to find the girl first. Oh, there she is. Help! Help! Okay. That's cool. These mushroom things we can kill in one hit. Hassim's got a ser serious wound. Oh, please, take this girl to Wendell and see Bogard. He will take care of the rest. Hassim? Hasim! Hasim passed away. So much death in this game! No! Don't leave me alone, Hasim. I'm looking for that Bogard, too. Why don't you come with me? Oh, can I? I can't leave you here alone. I am Rado. Call me Yuki. There's that. That's the uh, girl name that we came up with. It's Yuki. Um, but yeah. So, first part, two people already died. First Willy and now Hasim. I don't know how we're going to get over all this death. Um, but um, if you do ask on uh, Yuki, she will heal your, your treat your wound. Hello, young man. Welcome to Topple. Okay, this is Topple, um, obviously. Walking into people will let you talk to them. You can also, I guess... I guess it's mainly because pushing the... Uh, you can attack townspeople and kill them. They, it's not easy to do because they have a whole bunch of HP, but you can kill people if you really want to. I'm not going to because there's no point in it. Hello, how may I help you? I already have a broadsword, and I want to. Oh, I guess I'll get that iron helmet. Um, so that's going to take some grinding. Because you can't have an RPG without grinding, I suppose. Um, keys. We'll buy some cure potions, and potions are basically basically work. This uh, are usually named after spells like cure and pure are both spells. Cure will heal um, HP. Pure will heal status effects. I'm also gonna get some keys. I don't, I don't need any pure potions really. Status effects are not really as big a deal as the game tries them tries to make them out to be. Um, they'll he they'll wear off after a little while, and unless you're like moogled or something like that, which is which can be, or if you're stoned, uh, that can be a problem. Um, but uh, for the most part, um, status effects aren't that big a deal. Tree of Mana is watching us from above the clouds. It's protecting us from evil things. I just love the simplistic way people talk in this game. It, I mean, it's. <laughs> It's, they're still understandable, unlike Z Zelda 2, but still, um, it's it's to the funny, funny English. The old man by the waterfalls is such a weirdo. He used to be a gallant knight, but not anymore. He used to be, not used to be. <laughs> Dark Lord is looking for a girl. I heard. Do you know a girl with the secret of the Tree of Mana? 
Um, no. But I have uh, an inkling that this girl might have something to do with that. And on that note, uh, I'm going to cut the video off here. Um, I'm probably going to try to do something with starting up Baldur's Gate soon again. I kind of want to get really get back into the scheme of things. So I quit Zelda 2 for this. And alongside this, I'm going to start doing a Baldur's Gate, uh, Baldur's Gate videos again. And I'm still planning on doing the Mystical Ninja thing uh, sometime this week. Uh, so hopefully, um, I'll be alternating days, this and Baldur's Gate. So uh, those of you who are really excited about seeing Baldur's Gate again, you'll get your wish too. Uh, probably a little earlier than uh, expected. But um, um, I think I made the right decision with getting rid of Zelda 2, because this is just not going... That's not going to work for me. So... Um, I hope you enjoy this instead of Zelda 2, and uh, we will start doing Baldur's Gate soon. And Mystical Ninja. <laughs> I've been Rado Goji, and I'll be here next time. Join me, won't you?